I am Anil Kumar. We will take up four trigonometric identities to begin with. We need to prove sin square x divided by 1 minus cos x equals to 1 plus cos x. Now in trigonometric identities we should start from one side. So we will choose left side in this particular case. We know the Pythagorean identity which is sin square x plus cos square x I mean plus cos square x equals to 1. Now here we could write sin square x as equal to 1 minus cos square x, right? So we'll substitute instead of sin square x, we'll write left side as 1 minus cos square x divided by 1 minus cos x. Now we know a plus b times a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So this is 1 square minus cos square. So I could write left side now as 1 minus cos x. You can write plus first and then minus. 1 and the same thing. Divided by 1 minus cos x. Now as you can see, we have a common factor in numerator and denominator which can be cancelled. So 1 minus cos x can be cancelled and we are left with 1 plus cos x. This is exactly equal to the right side and so we have proven that left side equals to right side. So these are the basic steps which should be followed to prove such identities. Now let's take us Let's take another identity. We need to prove sine square x times 1 plus 1 over 10 square x is equal to 1. So we can rewrite the left side as sine square x times 1 plus. Now tan square x is 1 over sine square x, right? We know tan x is ratio of sine x and cosine x. So therefore, I will write this as sine square x over cos square x. Now let's apply the distributive property and open the bracket. Sine square x times 1 is sine square x. And we'll multiply with this, we get sine square x times cos square x over sine square x. So sine square x and sine square x cancels. We are left with sine square x plus cos square x and that is the Pythagorean identity which is equal to 1 which is same as the right side. So we have shown that left side is equals to right side. Perfect. So this identity is true. Let's take another one. This time we have cos square x equals to 1 minus sin x times 1 plus sin x. Let's begin with the right side this time. Right? So right side is equal to 1 minus sin x times 1 plus sin x. As we know, a plus b times a minus b is basically equal to difference of squares. So we could write this as 1 minus sine square x. Now you know the trigonometric identity which is cos square x plus sine square x is equal to 1. And so we could write cos square x as 1 minus sine square x. So this 1 minus sine square x is indeed equal to cos square x which in our case is also equal to the left side. So we have shown that right side is equals to left side and so we have proven the identity, right? Here is another question. We need to prove that tan square x minus sine square x equals to sine square x times tan square x. 
Now, we could begin from left side or right side in this particular case, right? So, so it's your choice. We could do either side. So let's start with the left side, which is tan square x minus sine square x. We can write tan square x as sine square x over cos square x. So we have this as sine square x. Now, sine square x is common, right? Sine square x is common. So what we can do here is we can write this as equal to sine square x and within brackets we get 1 over cos square x minus 1. So that gives us sine square x common denominator of cos square x and that gives us 1 minus cos square x. Now 1 minus cos square x is sine square x, right? So, so we could write this as sine square x times 1 minus cos square x is also sine square x and we have cos square x in the denominator. Sine square x over cos square x is tan. So we can write this as sine square x times tan square x, which is the right side. So we have shown that left side is equal to right side. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Basically, in proving these identities, we have used only basic ratios. One is sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. We have used tan x as the ratio of sin x and cos x. And we have applied basic algebraic formula a plus b times a minus b equals to a square minus b square. So with the help of these basic formulas, we can actually prove these identities. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.